Well, welcome back, DC Superhero fans. I am here today with another LEGO Man of Steel set. Now, this is set number 76002, Superman Metropolis Showdown, 119 pieces. It is for ages 6 through 12. Now, remember, those are only recommended, so don't listen to them. I don't, um, obviously. So, yeah, let's look at the back of the box. Just a little... Uh, just shows you little features on the back. Obviously, it's a smaller set. It does retail for $12 at Walmart, um, $17 at Toys R Us, and I think $12 at, you know, everywhere else because we know that Toys R Us loves the um, little markups. It does come with two instruction manuals, uh, which is a little odd because we don't really... I've never seen this before. Two instruction manuals for a set this size. You, you just don't see it. You uh, It's... Weird. So basically, in the first manual, you're building the little tower, and then the second manual, you are building the car. Now, this does come with two minifigures, so let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so the first minifigure I have to show you guys is the Man of Steel himself. Now, if you do purchase all three of the sets in this line, you will end up having three since he is the main character. Now, he comes in this really nice dark blue color, which is different from the Superman that you get in the Power Arm Lex Luthor set that came out in late 2011. Um, so he's very cool. He's based off of the movie Man of Steel, obviously, and a lot of detail. Um, I love the design um, that they are having Superman this movie since they're taking a more realistic approach to it because, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to take a superhero seriously if he's flying around in tights. So, yeah, he has, I love the top of the torso, how it shows, like, the detail of the actual cape coming down to the top of his shoulders, which is really nice. And we have the, you know, iconic S, which does not stand for Superman. It stands for hope on his planet, um, which I don't know how he knows anything about the planet since it got blown up, but it's probably because I'm not a big superhero fan. I mean, Superman fan. I'm obviously a big superheroes fan, so don't know much about Mr. Clark Kent. Now, um, I look, turn him around, and you can see his awesome back printing. And we also turn around the hair, and you can see his laser beam eyes. Now, that's one of his superpowers. You can shoot lasers from his eyes, so it was appropriate for LEGO to put this in the set. So, yeah, that is it for... The Man of Steel, let's get on to General Zod. Okay, so this is General Zod. Now, if you purchase all three sets, you will get three of him because he comes in every single set. But um, this is the only set that he's actually different in. Um, not necessarily torso printing wise or head printing wise. Just that he doesn't come with cape or that cool armor, which is a little bit of a letdown. Because this is the cheapest way to get him, but not the complete way to get him. He obviously, nothing has changed. It still has the um, really nice torso design with the symbol in there for him. And uh, obviously it looks similar to Superman since they are the same descent, I believe. And that's really cool. It goes down to the pants. And overall very cool. As you can tell, you can still see where the cape is supposed to strap onto the front. But no cape. I don't, I don't see one. Do you guys see one? Is it hiding? No, you don't get a cape. So that's a little disappointing. Um, I don't think it, you know, Superman has a cape. I don't understand why they couldn't have thrown in a cape for General Zod. So here is the back printing, obviously showing the shoulder blades and more design from the suit that he is wearing. If we turn around this hair that is being used quite often, um, you know, what can you do? He has also the same power as Superman. He can shoot lasers out of his eyes, so that's why Lego made the red pupils to simulate that super power. Now, not much to show on Mr. Zod here. But nonetheless, he is a great figure. Now let's get on to the set close-up. Okay, so let's dive into the close-up. Now let's take a look at this awesome car that you get with this set. Now through assumptions, not you know, obviously not seeing the movie yet, that this car is probably not going to be featured whatsoever. I'm pretty sure Lego saw a scene in the movie. Um, you know, just the car in the background said, hey, let's make that. So that's what usually Lego does with these smaller sets you know, based off of movies. We've seen it tons of times before. Um, so, yeah, nonetheless, it is really cool to have in your collection because it's actually a really cool car. Um, it has, obviously, the yellow and black kind of designs. And um, we have not seen a nice car in a LEGO superhero set, I think, ever. So this is actually pretty cool. Now, if you take a look on the inside, the driver's seat, there's not much detail in there. It's just, you know, the steering wheel and a place to put the driver, 
which I'm pretty sure is Superman nor General Zod would want to drive this. I wouldn't. <laughs> Um, the back here doesn't have any license plates or anything, it just, you know, the studs there. So, you know, lacking detail on that, but nonetheless, nice wheels underneath, you know, the typical car piece that LEGO normally has um, in their stuff. And yeah, it's an awesome windshield piece. I myself do not have any of these pieces, so um, I don't know when the last time they've made these. So that's cool to have. And obviously the front with the um, engine hood and then the two mirrors on the side. So that is the car. Now let's take a look at the little scene in Metropolis that you get. Now um, obviously this isn't that cool but um, I actually I find it neat. It's something that you could have laying around and really fun for kids. Now um, it does have a play feature right here. It's like a little I guess catapult if Superman is dumb and sits on it and you can fling him and yeah that doesn't really work that well because you can't really connect it without it flying off so <laughs> yeah so that's what that is and it also has nice you know a little rubble detail because obviously it's the battle of metropolis um or metropolis showdown excuse me so um you know probably the ending of the movie which is a little weird because it seems like with these sets they have like the smallest sets being the finals of these movies i don't know why they're doing that the communications tower is really cool. You do get one of these pieces in there, which you know you don't see a lot in smaller sets, so that's pretty cool. The satellite dish is nothing too spectacular, but still really cool, you know. And then the little antenna on top. And it also does have a cool feature where this can fly off and break and might crush the car and the guy will come back and be all sad. So yeah, that is this set. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. It's a nice and small little set. Um, very cool. Like I said, it's $12. You can get it probably pretty much everywhere by now. So, um, I would definitely recommend you pick this up. Now, I really appreciate it if you guys comment down below if you like the video, you know, your thoughts about the movie and, uh, just whatever you want. Also, leave a like. That really does, you know, help the video go a long way and spread around and put a smile on my face. So, um, Joker reference right there. Put a smile on my face. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos. Thank you and goodbye.